So far we've seen how to move left, right, up and down using the arrow keys. Uh, but in this example, you'll notice that we can rotate and then we can drive off at any angle that we're facing. Uh, and in order to do this, there are two things. First, we need to learn how to rotate the car or whatever your other object is. And the second one is we need to know how to go off at a, in a particular, at a particular angle, say 45 degrees. The first one is how to rotate the car. Now, just explaining ahead of time with this is that uh, in Micro Studio, out to the right here is zero degrees. Uh, off to the other side here is 180 degrees. And then up to the top is 90 degrees. And then this could be 270 degrees, but also we could refer to it uh, going the opposite way around here as negative 90. Uh, and this could be negative 180, for example. But just so you know, it starts at zero going out to the right and then goes anti-clockwise uh, clockwise around like this. Uh, this is quite similar to how uh, angles are done in a lot of mathematics and a lot of programming. So it's good to know that ahead of time. Now going back to how do we make the car point in a different direction? Well, um, when we come down to see where the car is drawn, uh, I have a draw car function here. And you'll see what I do before I draw the car. Um, I actually change the ro this draw rotation of the screen to whatever car dot rotation is. Uh, and then after I've drawn the car, I move the screen rotation back to its normal amount, which is zero. So that's the way that you actually draw the rotation. And you'll see my car object here. I have a rotation property on the car object and it's set to zero pointing out to the right. Um, but if I was to go in here and uh, in the draw phase here, just print car dot rotation. Uh, and I restart the program here. Uh, you'll see down the bottom here that it's zero. And then when I start to move around, it goes to about 90 there and then about 180 etc. And in fact, it does go negative. Now, it doesn't matter if it's multiples of 360, the, the program will work that out for us. It, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, but that's just an interesting uh, way to check. I can print that the car rotation. So that's easy. The hard part is how do we get the car to move off at whatever angle? So let's say this is uh, 70 degrees. How do we get it to move off at 70 degrees? Now, in order to understand that, uh, we are going to have to, let's get rid of this. We are going to have to uh, realize that there are two separate ways that we could write the angle of uh, movement. So let's say this is zero degrees. And let's say this is 45 degrees. So if we want the car to move in this direction, 45 degrees, uh, we can express that as 45 degrees, but that's actually useless for the computer because the computer wants to know how far to move the, I should do these kind of brackets here. Well, I, let me stick with the mathematical notation first. I'll do this. <laughs> the computer just wants to know how much to change X by and how much to change Y by. The computer can't take this 45 degrees directly and move the car. It needs to know how much I move, am I moving it on the X left and right? How much am I moving it on the uh, up and down, which is the Y. And this is called a vector. Oops. So, uh, what we want to imagine is that, forget about distance for a moment, we're only thinking about angle. So let's presume that this here, these lines are one pixel long, okay? So if the actual line here that it's going along is one pixel long, along 45 degrees, how much of a change in X is that? And how much of a change in Y is that? And it turns out, that it's actually around about a change of 0 0.7 on both axes here. 
0.7. So this 45 degrees is pretty useless for the computer. However, it can tell, it can easily work out, well, I need to move X by 0.7 and Y by 0.7. That's easy to use. And what we would actually do is the mathematical notation for a vector like this is um, in brackets, but uh, circular brackets, but we will use square brackets in Micro Studio because we will be putting them in a list or an array. Um, so the question is, if I have this car rotation, how do I then work out how to translate into how far I need to change X and how far do I need to change Y by? And the way that we can do that, if we go back to Micro Studio, uh, is remember if we go into Explore and we go Games Prog Library here, uh, we can go and get, we can either import the whole library or we can just go and copy the one uh, file that we uh, want or the one function that we want and I'll go into helpers and that is angle to vector. Angle to vector takes an angle in degrees and returns the uh, list of the X change needed and the Y change needed. Okay, so if I go back into car here, you'll see update car. Uh, you'll notice that if keyboard right is pressed, it just adds uh, so it takes uh, car rotation speed off the car rotation. If keyboard left is pressed, it adds it to, so that's easy, it should be easier anyway. But the really hard bit here is if you press up, we want to go forwards in the direction of the car. So first of all, I'm going to get my direction vector. So the reason I've used local here is it only creates this direction variable inside this function and then gets rid of it afterwards. Um, and we don't want a direction variable uh, somewhere else in the program. We only want it in this function, so local. So then we call angle to vector car dot rotation. So let's say the car rotation is 45 degrees. Um, we should hopefully uh, get then that 0 0.7 thing that we were talking about. Let me just test that out. If I say print angle to vector, and then I say 45 degrees, um, and then I run the program again here. Oops. Is that, oh, it's only if I'm pressing keyboard dot up. There we go, okay. Uh, you can see there are a lot of decimal points here which don't really matter, but it's basically 0 0.7, 0 0.7, etc. cetera. Uh, so that will change if I actually put in here car rotation. Uh, now, hopefully it will change. Oops. Okay, so if I'm facing, let me try and face a, a way that makes sense. I'll try and face up. Okay, so I'm almost totally facing up. Not, not quite, I can't get it exact. Um, but basically it makes sense that we're facing up. So it's really minimal, the change in X that we want, 0 0.03 and 0 0.99 almost a whole pixel uh, that we want to go up if we're going to be moving. Now, now that we have those two values, how do we get the X? How do we get the first item of the li list? Um, well, the way we do that to get the first item of a list is in these square brackets with zero, the zeroth item of the list. So this will be how much we need to change X by. Now, remember that this vector is only a length of one pixel long. So if we want the car to move two pixels, so that we've got car dot speed here. If we want it to move two pixels forward every time in whatever angle, we need to then multiply that. So let's say this comes out as the car moving one pixel in a certain direction. If we then times it by car speed, it'll move however many pixels car speed happens. Uh, so I hope that makes uh, a little bit more sense. This uh, also applies perfectly for bullets, uh, but for bullets, you wouldn't need to have this code to rotate the bullet, unless it was some sort of controllable bullet that you had, um, you would only uh, just need every frame, regardless of what, what was happening, um, it would be uh, moving in this direction. Um, can I also just say though, that if you had a bullet that moved in the same direction the whole time, let's say 25 degrees, uh, you would only need to calculate this direction once. You wouldn't need to recalculate it every frame because the bullet is always moving in the same direction until it, it dies. So you might actually like to do that in the init function. So in your init bullet function, uh, you might like to uh, have all of these things and then you can't do calculations inside here. So it would need to be, for example, bullet dot, um, 
uh, we might call it direction uh, equals angle to vector oops and then you'd say uh, bullet dot rotation or whatever it is that you're doing exactly um, this is not exact play around with it see if you can get it working uh, and of course I'm always there to help if you need help good luck